Oh my god. <laughs> Outriders has some issues, but it's still fun. What's up everybody? This is Joda with Casual Panic, and today we're talking about Outriders, as you can see. Uh, the game got off to a little bit of a rocky start, but I'm going to argue that the game is still fun to play. Those clips you saw in the beginning were me and Duffy trying to play together a couple days ago, and let me tell you, that was nothing compared to when we tried to play together when the game first came out last week. You see, I live on the East Coast, and Duffy lives on the West Coast, and that's kind of far away. And apparently, Outriders servers had absolutely no idea how to handle that. On top of that, I also tried playing crossplay from me on Xbox to one of my friends, Spencer, on PC, and he immediately got disconnected as soon as we got into a game together. Now, Outriders did disable crossplay for the time being so that they could work on that, but the Xbox connection problem still seemed to be an issue. Now, slight disclaimer, I have not actually tried playing with anybody on Xbox that also lives in the East Coast, but I would hope that it's a little bit better than playing with Duffy. Fuck you, Duffy. I'm just kidding, I love Duffy, and you should too, because we run this channel together with Jason, and you should watch all of our videos. Please subscribe. But anyway, I am here to argue that the game is still fun. I have been playing by myself for the past week, uh, because I had no other friends to play with, but I will say that it is a game that is both challenging and rewarding. The game, if you haven't played it before, plays a little bit like a mix between Gears of War, Destiny, and Doom. Now hear me out on the Doom part, because the way that you heal your character depends on your class, but mostly it boils down to the more people you kill, the harder it is for them to kill you. Couple that with their world tier system, where as you're leveling up, you increase world tiers, which makes the enemies harder, but it also lets you wear gear that's above your level. So if I'm only level 20, but I'm on like world tier 7, I can wear gear that's level 24, and the enemies are also level 24. This means things can get pretty tough if you don't have the health and the damage to actually take down those enemies before they kill you. And trust me, you can die very fast in this game. But fret not, my casual panickers, for you can change the world tier whenever you want. You can bring it down, I've done it plenty of times, Jason hasn't because apparently he's just way better than me, but that's okay. I'm okay with it because it's fun. The one good thing I do like about this game though is that when things start to get a little monotonous, they throw something into the story or into the questing that just kind of throws you off, like a big ass boss battle or a big, big ass boss battle. That's pretty much it. But those big ass boss battles are fun as hell. And so is saying big ass boss battles. Big ass boss battles. Big ass boss. I'm done, okay. As you level up, it's really fun to get new abilities, and then also on your gear you can augment those abilities to make them better, or even different. For example, on my Pyromancer, I have abilities that I can mod to be able to use more than once before the cooldown goes down. And since the Pyromancer has to use abilities to heal himself, that means I have a lot more options of staying alive. Also, the game kind of forces you into making different builds and changing your skills up depending on the situation. So for those big ass boss battles, I usually try to find abilities that are better for a one-on-one -on -one situation or that can heal me without actually killing somebody. Whereas if I'm just fighting a bunch of people, I try to go for more AOE abilities or something in the crowd control area. Overall, I wouldn't say that Outriders is a bad game or a great game. I would say it's just good. It's fun. You know, it's something that you can turn on and you can play, hopefully with your friends soon, and you can have a good time just using crazy superpowers and shooting people in the face. I haven't quite hit max level, so I don't know what the end game is like yet, but I'm really interested to see what that's going to be like. Normally, games like this, looter shooters, kind of fall apart when it comes to the end game. <coughs> Anthem. <coughs> so I think that's going to be the real test of this game and whether it's good or not. And if the end game is good now, hopefully the developers can just stick with fixing the problems that exist now and then expanding on the good gameplay in the future. But that's where I'm going to leave you guys off. Let me know in the comments, are you playing Outriders? Are you having fun playing it? Do you hate it? Have you been able to play with your friends? As always, let me know. Like this video and subscribe if you want to see more content from us. And I will see you in the next one.